I bet by now you've sat in your best stands at least a few times. And every time you sit there, you tell yourself that this time, this hunt will be the hunt. Except every hunt becomes just one of those where nothing happens. It's gotten so bad that you've found yourself even wishing that a squirrel would run by just so you have something to look at. Your hunts don't have to be this way. You could even be one of those hunters that passes on deer because you know there will be others if you could only get to where you could see some deer. You keep telling yourself that it's because the habitat sucks or you just haven't found the right spot or something. You come up with excuse after excuse trying to figure out why it is that you aren't seeing deer. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that it's probably you. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of that tough love and give you three reasons why it is your fault that you're not seeing deer. But before we get into the tips, do me a favor and if this is your first time on my channel, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And the first reason that you are not seeing those deer is because you're actually looking for them. I know it sounds stupid, but sometimes it's hard to find something when you're actually looking for it. It's kind of like the wash pot never boils type of saying, except that it's kind of not. One thing I learned a long time ago is that whenever you're hunting, regardless of what it is, you need to remember to watch for movement, not for what you're hunting for. Whenever you're looking for deer, you tend to be looking for the entire deer, that general deer shape. Except most of the time you're only going to catch glimpses of them until it is too late. It's the same concept as not being able to find sheds. A lot of people are looking for that entire antler just laying out there in the woods, but most of the time it's just going to be a, a tine or two sticking up out of leaves. It is much easier for you to see movement than it is for you to try to find that entire shape of a deer. You're going to end up passing off things that you think it's a stick or you'll ignore it completely because you're not seeing that whole picture. Watch for movement and you'll see a lot more deer. And the second reason that you are not seeing any deer is because you are ignoring how you get to your stand. How you get to your stand is just as important as where your stand is. If you ignore how you approach your stand, you're going to end up bumping way more deer than you see. And for a lot of you hunters out there, that could be as few as one. And when you constantly don't see any deer at all, bumping even one deer is way too many. You need to make sure that you approach your stand as quietly and as scent free as possible. Make sure that wind is not blowing your scent into known bedding areas. Use the terrain to your advantage. Do not walk on ridge tops at all if you can avoid it. Try to use a dry creek bed or some drainages to hide your movements. And if you have the chance, clear a trail to your stand so you can leave as little scent as possible. Definitely do not go walking through the woods touching everything like a spoiled brat in Toys R Us. Get to your stand well before daylight. Try to give yourself plenty of time to be settled in at least a half hour before sunrise. And definitely plan to be walking out after dark. This is a gigantic reason why people don't see deer. Those deer that are out there are hearing, seeing, and smelling you long before you ever get the chance. And the third reason that you are not seeing any deer is because those deer are under some intense pressure. Deer know when it is hunting season, especially in areas where there are a lot of hunters per acre. If you live and hunt in Michigan or Pennsylvania, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But hunting pressure is not only intense in those states where there is a lot of hunters per acre, it can also be very intense on some of the other states. Like here in Missouri, it's we're about middle of the road as far as hunting hunters per acre, but there's a lot of hunters packed in to specific spots. A lot of public land is very pressured, and even private land can get pretty overwhelmed when you have too many of your buddies out there. When you hunt in areas where the hunting pressure is high, you have to be willing to go farther than other hunters are willing to go. A lot of hunters won't go past 200 yards from their truck to their tree stand, so you need to be willing and able to go past that. Also, a lot of hunters will overlook some great places. A lot of places real close to highways or even real close to houses will hold some good deer. Another aspect of hunting in some high pressured areas is hunters will overlook the need to pattern the other hunters. A lot of people know that they need to pattern deer and they got to do all their scouting to know where the deer are going to be, but when you're on public land especially, you aren't going to know where the other hunters are going to be at any given time. Hunt when and where those other hunters don't, and the ones you can't avoid may even help you by pushing deer deeper into the woods. So make sure you're in your stand extra early, like an hour and a half before sunrise, to take advantage of those lazy hunters getting there at the crack of dawn. 
And when you do pattern those other hunters, you found out found out where they're going to be. Don't be one of those guys that messes with their stuff. I've heard plenty of hunters on public land. They'll go, they'll steal the bottom steps, or they'll. So I've even heard of some people taking some clippings from a barber shop and sprinkling it around their, those other people's stands in order to discourage deer from using it. Those other hunters have every right to be there just like you. Just mark that location on your map and then hunt somewhere else. So that was three reasons you might not be seeing deer. And hopefully I didn't give you some ideas on how to discourage deer from going to other people. If you have any more tips on why you may not be seeing deer, leave those down in the comments below. Hit that like button if you like this video, share it if you found it helpful, and make sure that you are subscribed so you can stay informed.